Hey there, my name is Pravis. Welcome back to more FTL Multiverse on the Big Chonker. This is our cruiser that is currently going into Sector 3. I'd say we're doing kind of okay for ourselves. I mean, we've got all four weapons online. we got a couple bars of shields. Yeah, we're down to half health. And yes, two of my crew members died very unfortunate deaths. All right, we got completely overwhelmed by some mantises. Nonetheless... We're going to continue exploring this crystalline imperial sector, complete some tasks, find some distress beacons, and hopefully find our footing. So actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and move directly to the Cura task over here. What do we have to do again? I don't actually remember. It looks like a Mantis Suzerain. Oh good, that's an extra strong Mantis. I love that. Um, let's engage, I guess, and we are going to have to fight Tarkipet. I've actually seen this event before, so I know that all we really have to do is do as much damage as possible. Um, however, with a freaking crew teleporter, we're about to have some problems. We all know it's coming. Where are you guys? You are okay there in the shield room. Let's go ahead and send everything I got over there. I know it sounds really weird to, like, leave my pilot, I guess. We can go ahead and move you to the engines. But I want to be fighting here and just kind of preventing them from doing anything I'm not going to like. Let's launch at least a couple of shots at the shields. Try to knock this down just a bit. We need to get Delilah the heck out of Dodge. You guys need to be meleeing these guys so they don't shoot at you. And then we need to take out the weapons if at all possible. We knocked out some weapons. Okay. Good enough. Um, but really, I just need to focus fire like their shields one more time. You, Cranny 2.0, run away as well. And Endedu, can you hold the line long enough for us to finish? Oh, God, run away. <laughs> All right, they're in, the, they're in the cockpit room. They're in the control, but it's fine. Oh, gosh. We still haven't been able to finish them off. Okay, uh, one more volley is all I need. It looks like I missed a really bad shot or something. Okay, they ran away. That's good. That's good. I'm just going to sit tight for a second. They might crew teleport back over here, but I'm hoping this is it. There we go. Whew, okay. Tarkipet, what do you want? Giant wealth? Daughter claw and marriage? The funny dance of shame? I'll absolutely take the dance of shame. Now, I want to learn more about Vance Wentworth. That's a lot of text. I'm not going to read all that. Looks like we are going to get Tarkipet as our own crew member. I am happy with that. Thank you. Now everyone's healed back up. Let's think about what we can be doing here in the future. It would be nice to get myself some more power bars and weapons, believe it or not. And the reason why is we have some decent weapons that we're sitting on right now, like the Light Laser Mark II. Could be very good for us. Replace some of these heavy piercing lasers with something that actually keeps their shields down so we can actually make use of this. Because the problem is, if we go up against an enemy that has two or three levels of shields, we're not very strong. And the further we get along into the game, the worse that's going to be. So we can't keep these long term. They've been good okay for now, but whatever. Let's go ahead and attack the rebel. We always protect the crystallines when we can, I suppose. Do you have any cloaking? No, you do not. Fine, very well. Let's just go ahead and shoot you down. You got a couple of beams? I honestly don't even think this guy can hurt me now that I think about it. Yep, you can only punch through one of my shields, and your beams can't do anything. So we could technically just focus on... Oh, we took out your drone. Not what I was shooting for, but all right. We can try to take out your oxygen. <laughs> and maybe starve you out, but now I'm starting to think that's going to take way too long. Oh, fine. Let's just go ahead and take out their shields and stuff. We missed almost all of these dang shots. All right, this is incredibly bad luck. Technically, since we're invincible to this guy, we could just sit back and let them shoot at me as much as they want so I could farm out some engine and some shield XP, but... We're not going to do that. That's a little bit too cheesy. All right, we get through the bones, and the crystallines are not grateful. Well, darn you. Let's move on down over here. Why am I going down this route? I don't know. I just kind of went with it. Eh, it's fine. Attack the ship. We can get a black box. Download the data. Yeah, sure. Okay, they've got cloak. Right. We could burn that off, and I think I will. It's going to cost me some reactor power and lost the last 30 seconds. I say yes. Let's do that, continue the fight. We're gonna pause, turn off oxygen, turn off some engine, get our lasers back up and running. And then you've got two bars of shields. I need to try to burn some of that down. And also your weapons do scare me just a little bit. I think it's worth doing this slightly in volleys though. Knock out the shields first and then focus fire on the weapons. So like a split second afterwards like this, there we go. And then hopefully, yeah, that knocks out most stuff. All right, so while this guy might get his cloak back up and running, He's not really much of a threat, which at least that's good news. Oh, never mind, he's even dead. That's even better than before. All right, 16 scrap, and we got their black box. Did we actually gain, like, any meaningful value out of that? I don't think that we actually did, but okay. So do you want to go ahead and get some weapon bars now? I think the answer is yes. We are going to go ahead and do this swap because I'm very scared that we're going to get messed with. The light laser is going to be great for us. This thing fires off every 2.2 seconds, right? One shot, but still. That means this thing's going to fire actually more lasers per second on average than a burst laser Mark III, which is considered to be one of the best games in vanilla. 
So this is going to be great for just kind of keeping their shields down and letting the other three do their job. Though ultimately we do want to get the burst laser as well. Let's move on to the distress beacon, I guess. That should be fine. I need to turn my weapons back on. Give them fuel. Yes, I will give you fuel. You gave me scrap. That was a fantastic deal. I will take that any day of the week. Uh, anything else jump out at me is really helpful right now. We can get some more energy just for, like, some engine dodge chance and stuff like that. Or we can focus on continuing toward, like, I don't know, some more uh, weapon power. We do need power anyway. Um, I'm going to need that for weapons later. We might as well just enjoy a little bit of extra engine for now. Let's go ahead and just move down this direction. I don't know. Just kind of exploring randomly at this point. But we do need to start... Oh. Thinking about when we're going to get to the exit. Foreigners, we make peace with barbaric aliens. Give free weapon. Thank you. Yes. Um, we are going to put on a salvage mission down here. We get an anti-personnel drone as well. Well, that was a very lucky jump for me. Okay, we could sell this thing for 25 scrap, or we could use it. Fires up to two shield-piercing projectiles. Really? Um, okay. So it can do some shield-piercing, and it fires two shots. Takes... No. Okay, it's max charge shots. It has to actually charge up. It takes 11 seconds to get two shots. So that's going to do as much damage as a heavy piercing laser, in theory. But with being two shots, is actually better at knocking out shields. So as much as I like this, because this has the piercing, it's actually fairly equivalent. The reason the heavy piercing laser is better is the breach chance. But I'm willing to run with this and just kind of give this a go. We want to make sure we are taking out those shields as aggressively as we can. Uh, do we want to go up this way? We'll just go this way. I don't really care that much. We could get to some shops, by the way, and sell some of this excess stuff. Wouldn't be a bad idea. A Mantis is attacking some people. Well, we don't like when they do that. So we're going to go ahead and attack you. You do not have cloak, but you are going to have boarding parties. We'll worry about that in a second. So, Light, you're just going to focus on the shields and fire off and just see how fast we can burn this down. All right, boarding parties. Where are they? They're up over here. They're coming to the shield room, probably. Nope, they're going to the engine room. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and take out the one mantis they've got. Going to hold on to this crystal charge, which actually is taking longer to charge than I thought it would. I thought this was going to be 11 seconds. I guess the heavy piercing laser is slightly faster. All right, well, let's just go ahead and try knocking out things like their uh, weapons. There we go. And we can go ahead and fire off a couple of shots over here. Take down that shield. There we go. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, this is perfect. And look how effective this light has been so far. That's actually been great. I'm not at all unhappy about this. Pew, 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 and you're dead. Hey, that was effective. Ship explodes. We scrap what we can. And they're angry at me, too. You know, I, I was going to bat for you crystallins and saying that you guys were all pretty chill with the Federation. But it turns out you're not. You guys are all a bunch of jerks. Whatever, what can you do? Let's go up over this direction. I need to heal, by the way. That would be pretty helpful. Get to a shop at some point. Actually, you know what? Even better, we could just repair... <laughs> the timing's amazing. Okay, uh, we could repair... This is actually a discount, usually. A, like a, what, a 33% discount from a normal shop price. So we'll do this. I don't need 20 damage, but 10 I will definitely take. And we will go up this way. I want to work toward that crystal store and see if I can sell some of this excess stuff. Because we forgot a fair bit. I'm not doing this. All right, I've seen this event many a time, all right? Aliens, they want to do some studies. They want to run some tests. They, like, try to take your guy. So I'm going to say no, though I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight. Yep, we are. I'd rather just do that. That's fine. This guy doesn't even have a lot of scary stuff, just a lot of crystal weapons. I mean, like, that that could be scary. But it's not that scary, so let's just go ahead and try shooting him down. All right, so we actually just breached his shield amazingly. That's hilarious. Uh, we have piercing on everything, so let's just go ahead and fire everything I've got on his weapons and try to knock this out. He has frost weapons. They block you from getting into a weapon. Uh, sorry, into a room. This is unique for this mod, by the way, in case you were wondering. Still pretty cool, though. All right, the weapons are officially down. Let's just go ahead and target literally anything. I don't really care what else. We're piercing the one level of shield. There's not much he can do. He's going to die right about now. There we go. Thank you. Bye. So, 15 scrap. Hey, it's better than losing another crew member, all right? I don't think my fragile heart could handle it. We've lost too many people already. Uh, do we have time to get up? What do, do, do? Actually, I think we need to go here now if we want to avoid getting caught at the exit. So we'll just go straight to the shop. That's probably fine. Let's visit the store. Also do a quick task. Run the magnetic arm. Get some extra scrap. Cool. What do you got? More of these crystal chargers. So, I mean, we could actually do just more of these. I mean, I like the breach chance. These are technically slightly better. Um, could also do some weapons of the day, randomness. And I'll start by selling. I'm going to sell... Do I want the anti-personnel drone? Am I ever really going to use this? They can be helpful. They really could. 
But I'm going to get rid of it because I value the scrap. We're going to get rid of both of these piercing lasers. I know, I know. But I really, really covet that extra scrap. I'm actually going to sell another piercing laser as well. Crazy, I know, but it's fine. Let's get myself an extra bar there. And then let's go ahead and swap in the burst laser. Now we've got that. All right. So the plan here is you launch your light laser to keep their shields down. Burst laser gets it the rest of the way. Crystal charger we might get rid of. I actually would like to get a beam weapon or something later on. And the piercing laser can stick around for a bit because it's still pretty decent. But this is going to be my current setup. I think this is reasonable enough. This is going to slightly future-proof me for whatever's going to come in the next sector. By the way, I would love to get up to level 3 shields. About Sector 4 is when you want to have that. Let's check some storage. Um, we could run another salvage mission with Magnetic Arm. We find very little. That's fine. Let's move to the next sector. High Frontier Mantises. Ugh. Or the Hunting Grounds. Let's go to the Hunting Grounds. Look, I don't want to fight more Mantises, okay? Getting six of those last time was just so freaking unfortunate. View available tasks from Cura. Uh, intermediate task. We need to retrieve a photograph. Prepare to threaten Pete or listen to some crazy stories. Or... Uh, retrieve reports. We may need people to fight their crew. Um, yeah, see, you had me until you said fight a crew. Um, wait, did this just... Did you just, did you just roll a different... I think I just rolled a different task. Oh, I didn't actually know that was a thing. It looks like you can actually just keep cycling tasks until you get what you like. Well, that's fine. We need to remember a password. All right, so that's gonna be 7G exclamation point 0380P69 N. Do not forget this, all right? And let's go ahead and run some scans and get a full map of the area. All right, so there's Zoltan Ministry is here. Free mantises. Uh, welcome, but we have to search for Zoltan. I have a Zoltan. It's Pookie. Blast your way through. I'm not surrendering Pookie. I'm not giving up Pookie. You can't make me do it. All right, they've got, like, flak and stuff. These guys are actually a little bit scary. Fortunately, still only two um, shields, so that's a thing. Let's continue auto-firing with the light gun. We're going to take that down. They have ASB. Oh, good, anti-ship batteries to worry about. I like that. I'm going to try to distract Delilah for a moment. Uh, and the heavy piercing laser can now go for weapons. Crystal charger can as well. And we are going to go for just mass hit on the shields with the burst laser. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so that takes out at least a few weapons. We did not lose our shields, so that's good, though I'm about, oh my god! Okay, here come a whole bunch of mantises. Four of them, frick me, Pookie, run! Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you have four really powerful mantises? Frick this! This is garbage! Okay, um, we need more power. Um, let's get the light back up and running. Um, I need to find a way to take this guy out fast. Holy crud, they're gonna destroy my weapons. We are in what is called really big trouble. Um, get rid of the mind control so that doesn't mess with me again. Uh, can we kill you quickly is the new question. Bursts, gonna try to take out the shield. Boom, boom, boom. All right, good, good, good. Okay, we just took a lot of damage. Now we have like really nasty things to worry about, mantises, but hopefully I can find a way to deal with that. I need to get out of here though, before we get shot down. Let's go ahead and run under salvage mission. We get some fuel, meh. All right, can you guys get in here and fight these guys? They don't have pheromones anymore, which is good. Pookie is super weak, so we can't rely on you for much. I'm gonna send you guys over here, and they're gonna keep trying to destroy my weapons. Let's go ahead and heal for a second. Pookie can't go back in there. That's just the rule of it. Pookie cannot go back in there. So we can get this battery fixed, but I honestly don't care. You guys get in here and fight. All right, they're still completely intoxicated with pheromones. Oh my god, Delilah, run. <laughs> Oh my god, and Deadu run. <laughs> ah! God, they do so much damage. Okay, and you guys get out of here as well. They're gonna keep focusing on other stuff. Get this way, go over here. I don't really care. Um, now they're going into the med bay. Hopefully we can finish them off a little bit. And they're coming over here now. Okay, never mind, they're not. They're going up here to the med bay. Perfect. Fight where I can do this. I will hook myself up to an IV, and I will kill you dead. Holy crud, that was way too close. I hate fighting Mantis boarding crews. Oh my god, I hate it so much. Oh my god, okay, 96 scrap, what can we do? Um, can't quite get another shield bar, I need 120 scrap to do that, plus I need more energy, so we need about 170 scrap for the next level. There's the task we were shooting for. I guess the fastest, most direct path is this way, so that's what we will take. Um, Zoltan aggress- okay. I don't know if I want to stick around with this guy, but I guess we can hail them. Buy the sh Super Shield Bypass. 
Crew bomb teleportation through super shields. We don't benefit from this. What's that giant beam weapon you've got? Uh, Zoltan Deleter, cherished weapon that murders Zoltan fasts. If we must prove worthy in order to get, you know what? I will, I will try to take this. I do want a really, really good beam weapon anyway, right? So we'll give that one a go. Um, anything else we can do here? Not really, so, okay. Um, you have crew teleport, of course they do. <laughs> Of course they have crew teleporters, why wouldn't they? It just it just makes sense. All right, well, we're just gonna keep burning down your shields where we can. Where are you? I'm looking for doors, I think you're in the med bay. Oh God, they're in the med bay, all right. Let's turn that on, by the way, and just try to distract them. We're gonna burn this down as fast as we can. Good thing we have some like actually elite soldiers, right? Totally good thing. Hey, let's knock out, uh, knock out that weapon if we can. Let's use the crystal to try and hit this. Let's use the burst laser to try and hit their shields while it's down. Okay, they used a bomb, and that freaking hurts. Okay, but, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We've taken down their weapons, we are set. And they did give us the Zoltan Deleter. All right, uh, all in all, could that have been a lot worse? Yes, it absolutely could have, so I'm not gonna complain. So what does this laser do out of curiosity? Two power, 16 second charge time, really long length. Uh, okay, that means we can hit a lot of rooms, I think does a ton of crew damage, and pierces shields. Well, that's fascinating. If we were going for a build that would allow me to uh, try to kill enemy crews, right? Lots of, like, radiation and bioweapons. This would be phenomenal. As is, because it doesn't do any ship damage, it's not that useful to me. That's unfortunate. Let's go to the task and see what we got here. Let's try to remember the password. It was like 7G exclamation point something. Oh God, that is a really strong auto ship. It's got four shields. <laughs> right, well, we have to attack it. So let's think about that. It's got cloak, freak me. All right, we need to use tracking flares. I'm gonna accept less power. We'll turn off oxygen or something temporarily. Um, continue the fight, pause, hold on, let's get the engines up and running, uh, turn off oxygen, get my weapons, we need to burn down shields. Basically, everything needs to go to taking down shields and eventually the cloak, but this is gonna have to be okay for now. Let's turn on the emergency battery to get some extra dodge chance, they've got a lot of drones and they've got some big scary weapons. This is a problem, there's no way around it, this is a problem, we just lost some da- oh, we took some damage here. All right, let's go ahead and repair our weapons as quick as we can. I've got to find a way to burn through this. Come on. All right, the auto fire's not going to work here. Um, well, I'll take that back. We did a little bit of damage there, but I need to get things to the heavy piercing laser. We're going to take a lot of damage. This is extremely dangerous. Holy frick. This is way more dangerous than I expected him to be. Um, what else can we do here? I could... I could pull back on some more power and turn on an assault drone, which I will to try and help burn this down a little bit. So I do still need my light laser to keep pinging them here. I need the rest of my weapons to all fire in a big volley, and I have to take out things like their drones or we're screwed. There's no way around it. We have to. All right. Burst laser goes first. And we are going to use the heavy piercing laser to, again, knock out the drone. It missed? Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? Crystal shots. Pew pew. Okay. My combat augment. Okay, their cloak is now back online. Great! Oh god. And we're about to lose our emergency battery too. Um, alright, forget oxygen. That's optional. Oxygen not included, right? And my weapons have been taken down. Good, 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 good. Alright, um... How do we want to do this? The, uh, at least the cloaking is down. That's good. The drones have taken a lot of damage. Maybe we can knock out the weapons next. Okay, we did knock out some of the weapons. That's good. Hold on to this crystal charge, and we finished them off. Okay, I've taken a ton of damage. That was terrible. But we did destroy the auto ship. Now I need to remember... Okay, hang on. Which one was it? It was not this one. Was it that one? Ooh, that might be it. Was it... Oh, gosh. Hang on. What's the difference? B? I feel like there was an A. Yes, there was definitely an A first, right? I think this is it. Yes! Okay, we get a pike beam. Mm, all right. We will listen to the AI ramble a bit more about Mr. Wentworth, and he's going to give me a bonus. Thank you. I have 148 scrap. Great. Um, pike beam. So you at least would do some good damage. Really long beam length is the good news. 15 second charge time. This is probably better for me than the Zoltan Deleter. Still kind of works well with the build. It's not amazing. 
but it would do the job. But I can't afford any more DPS at this point. I have got to work toward uh, getting my defense up, or we're just going to keep getting crushed. Uh, there is a Mantis store. We can also get to a Federation store over here. Is there any other quest we need to worry about? It doesn't look like it. Um, I'm pretty close to dead, so I'm not going to risk going to uh, face another ship right now. Land, the Free Mantis should welcome us. And we do, and an armed peace... Uh, it's the Zoltan. Dang it. All right, hang on. Um, they're actually stationed. Do we attack them? Let's see. They got pretty decent shields. They got a beam. They have drones, which scares me. I think we're going to attack. We might be okay. All right, notoriety increases further. Do nothing else there. We could have gone for some emergency repairs. Honestly, wouldn't have been a bad plan. But it's all right. So let's use auto fire on you, of course. I'm actually going to use auto fire on the crystal um, as well because I really want to burn through that super shield as quick as I can. That's one good thing about this light weapon, by the way. It's going to help burn through this pretty quick. They got some giant ion weapons, some sort of a particle beam, which scares me. Okay. Uh, let's try to burn through that. Use the heavy piercing to hopefully knock out some of the weapons, at least some. Okay, keep those shields down low, please. And then what else can we do? I think we need to use the burst to hit the shields. And then try to knock out as many of the guns as we can. All right, we take out a beam at least. So that's it. There we go. So that went about as well as we could have hoped for. And unless something really changes, we should be more or less okay. There we go. All right, so the peacekeeping instigator is down. Get some scrap. The free mantis cheer. Federation has saved us. Question, what's the factory? Synthesize pheromones. Make a soldier very strong. We've already seen that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Every level of life support that is powered gives extra combat damage, but for each level above one, reduces repair speed. So we can have really, really strong combat for my, uh, my, my crew if we do this. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't think it's worth it. Although, admittedly, boarding crews have been my primary threat for a lot of the game. Still, we now have what I need to go ahead and get myself an extra shield bar, and we're going to do exactly that right now. Now, I know that I kind of needed some scrap in order to repair. That's fine. We're going to sell some excess stuff, and I'll just use all the scrap we get to do that. Request to dock safely here. Please. Thank you. All right. Glad we had Tarkapet. I need to rename Tarkapet. What am I doing? Hold on. Perform a task, run a repair mission, get the magnetic arm, two scrap. Not worth much. We're going to name you Dinar. There we go. All right. That's at least a little bit better. Cool. Okay. So, um, store. We're going to sell the Zoltan Deleter. I don't see a need for this. Um, I'm honestly tempted to get rid of the drones. I'm just kind of holding out hope that someday these will be worthwhile. Can't sell the Piercing Laser. We don't have enough uh, scrap to get anything else there. So let's just go ahead and buy some good repairs, at least up to this point. And is there anything else we could get that would be useful? God, I wish I had a door system. <laughs> I'm honestly tempted to sell one of these just so I can buy some freaking doors. No, we're just going to have to live without it. We're going to have to live without it for the moment. Hopefully, we get another opportunity later on. Uh, okay. There's another Federation store. At least I'm back up to full health. We can go over here and just find out what this ship is. It might be something I care about. It might not. Uh, it's a lone free Mantis ship. Um, let's see. We want to say, I'm praise you must earn it. Okay, we have to fight. The Mantis really like just fighting for the heck of it, don't they? Yes, they do. All right. Um, where are you? Where did you go? Oh, God. There's a breach in here. I didn't even notice. Run out of there. Hold on. Go to the shield room and defend. Okay, we'll protect Dahlia, probably. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start burning through your shields. We missed all of that shot. That's, that's great. Nope, feels good, man. Feels real good. And piercing laser on your weapons. And burst laser on your shields. And we'll also try to take out your pilot so you can't dodge anymore. There we go. All right. Very good. First human to defeat me. Screw this, destroy the ship. No, spare him. What do we get? Recycler bomb. I don't feel like that's going to be very useful to me. I'm trying to remember exactly what that does. It is a teleporting explosive that does not take missiles. That's it. But it's 17 seconds to charge. Just not worth it for me. Okay. Um, we can go to the store now and try to sell that off, I guess. And I really don't have much else to do right now. We're kind of limited on jump, so we'll do that. Volunteer to stand guard for a while. That means they'll start catching up to me. But I'm going to do that anyway, I hope. Yep, they did uh, start catching up. Let's you use a weapon? Dismantle the weapon to get the recycler tech. What? Wait, I was about to sell this, but now I'm curious what this does. I'm gonna do this. Dismantle, remove, gives recycler module. Module. 
This is something you can do to, like, upgrade different kinds of weapons, I believe. We just got this. Yeah, recycler module similar to that used for recycler tech weapons. Okay. Um, that's not useful, unfortunately, and I'm not allowed to sell this immediately, so we just have to drop it. Which sucks, by the way. I feel like if I'm at a store, I should be able to just, like, automatically sell it. I'm right there! So that was a total waste. We could have sold this and gotten some scrap, and I just, you know, threw away a fair bit. DOORS! Get it. I'm sorry, I just feel like doors are not optional at this point. Alright, security, you now go over here. And with the freaking doors online, we actually can defend ourselves a little bit against boarding parties. I can use the doors, Luke. Oh my god, that feels better. <laughs> it's the little things, alright? Free Mantis ship approaches from behind, accept the transmission. Free Mantis, please, um, contact them. Okay, we'll contact them and say, no, this is war, very troubling, alliances are crucial, explain the situation. All right, well, we get some free scrap. I don't know totally what just happened, but I also don't totally care. Uh, all right, so we can do, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think we can do at least a couple more jumps up this way, so we will. Gotta keep farming out that scrap, man. Gotta keep farming out that scrap. What do we got here? Uh, there's a large gathering of free mantis ships. We are gonna approach. We could stick around and watch. We could rescue an officer. I have seen this before. This is gonna be very dangerous if it's what I think it is. But we would get a really good crew member by doing this. We're going to rescue the officer. Okay, Briggs is now on board, and we have intruders. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, do you have cloaking? No. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, Briggs, you get up over here and just persuade these guys to not kill anybody right now while we wait. Let's start burning through their shields, of course. And they've got some big scary-ish weapons. I'm not actually feeling super scared of this, but... We should definitely try to knock down some of it, at least. And Dedu, I need you to stop being mind-controlled for a minute. All right, everyone stop trying to kill Dedu for a moment, please. Thank you. I, I know you all want to kill him. I know. I understand. We all do. But, like, come on. Leave him be. Let's uh, knock out the mind control and hit some weapons. And there we go. All right. So that's looking good, at least. I would like you guys to now go to the med bay. There are some uh, mantises over there. I'm not really scared of them. The beam weapon does not do much, fortunately. And we're just going to keep shooting pretty much everything we can here. Keep those weapons under control. That's what I was looking for. There's a bunch of guys. All right, defend Pookie with your lives! Uh, Pookie, seriously, though, you do actually need to, like, run. You can stay at a distance and shoot them if you want. That's fine. Um, you get over here. They're dead, so that's good. As long as we don't lose anyone, we're good to go. Magnetic arm, collect some more scrap real quick. We'll do that then. Talk to the guests. Cover's worthless. Might as well stick around. Welcome aboard, Briggs. And dead who's about to die... L run, um, you melee him. There we go, and we're good. And oh god, okay. Um, 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 run, run, run. There's a lot more mantises on my ship than I gave them credit for. Gosh dang it, we're doing this again, huh? This again, huh? All right, fine. We're not gonna lose anyone this time, though. Dang it. All right, let's get in here and attack again. All right, Briggs should be more or less safe. These guys are all gonna start punching. Good news is Briggs is an elite human soldier, so he does a lot of extra damage, which is awesome. And boom, there we go. Got him. All right, let's repair the ship. Of course, you need to rename Briggs as well. You are going to be Winterborn. All right, welcome to the crew. I like how we have our own responsive boarding crew at this point. I mean, it makes me feel a little bit better about our situation. Not a lot, though, mind you. Just a little bit. Unfortunately, because we sat around and waited, I don't think we can hit quite as many points as we would have before. Uh, we can probably... Uh, no, we kind of have to go this direction, I think. I don't I don't think we can afford to sit around. I think we have to kind of head straight toward the exit now. Rebel scum, you'll rue the day you mess with my clan. I don't think I messed with anything, but, you know, all right, fine. This guy has three shields. All right, we've seen this before. And, of course, he's going to do some crew teleporting on poor Pookie. Hooray. All right, my goal is not to kill Pookie. It's just to prevent the weapons from getting shut down. That's all I care about here. And we have found them. They are over here. We're going to go ahead and start venting some oxygen. Suffer! Okay, mind control is down. We should be good there. These guys are going away. Excellent. Head back to the med bay, just in case they're going to send some more in a moment. Uh, let's try bursting down their crew teleporter. I do not feel like letting that one back up. Goodbye. All right. And they did send more over here. What do you know? All right, well, let's go ahead and heal up for a second, but we know they're going to be over here in a moment. That's fine, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and finish these guys off, and boom. Okay. The one thing I don't love about our current auto-fire situation 
is with the light gun, I'm kind of using up stuff like my crystal charges before it actually has a chance to get a full volley. Which doesn't feel like it's good, but oh well. Anyway, we destroyed an entire ship of free mantises. Are we sure we're the good guy? I never said I was the good guy, alright? I'm fine with not being the good guy as long as I freaking win. Okay, all healed up, looking great. Um, cannot afford to go for another level of weapon control, so we're not gonna worry about that. And then, yeah, I guess we're just gonna go straight to the exit at this point. Uh, all right, yeah, that, that could have gone a little bit better, honestly, as far as sectors go, but we have our third shield bar, so that's a thing. Let's check the storage, what else can we do? Let's go for magnetic arm, two more scrap, that's not worth much. All right, well, it looks like we're going to the Harmony sector next time around, which is great. I got an achievement. I see this every time I play the game. That's fine, though. All right, uh, what new tasks can we get? The last one did not feel very intermediate, if I'm honest. Um, handle any potential assassins, a wedding photograph. What else we got here? Crush any defenses the ghosts may employ. Ah, the ghosts are a special race in this mod. The Lightweight Emancipation Grid, no. Easy task, medium scrap, and some renegades and stuff. Do not kill Mrs. Perez. This is kind of important. Um, I think we'll do the wedding photograph. Be ready to fight, seems good. Cool, new quests. Let's go ahead and run the scans, and let's proceed into the NG Harmony sector, since they all have a bit of a hive mind of their own. Hi, guard! How are you? Um, we are gonna threaten you for stuff. And oh, crap. I was hoping that that was just gonna make them cower, but no, they're actually gonna attack me. Shoot! <laughs> These guys have hacking modules on drone control. Perfect. That's exactly where I would have wanted you to use your hack. It's... Yes, by all means, do that. Okay, well, um, we're gonna kill a guard, and I'm surprised we're not actually being told that this is a hostile action or anything, but, you know, sure, whatever. Totally fine. Knock out their weapons and also hit their shields a little bit more if you can. There we go. And now we should just be able to burn these guys down. There's not much they can do. They are trying... Okay, they're calling out for help. Uh, crap. Well, that means we need to go a little bit faster. There we go. They are down. All right, FTL drive. Come on, charge faster, charge faster, charge faster. Do something on the ship. Let's do a salvage mission. It's totally fine. And they're not going to shoot at me anymore. Okay, now we're going to end this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so... I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time in the multiverse.